Hello friends, welcome to Talk Talk. Today I am going to give you information about 2025 Volkswagen Golf GTR. So, let's start. The Chach Day I Assistant hops aboard VW's updated hot hatchback, previewed at CES. Artificial intelligence is coming to cars, and now it's here, in a somewhat unlikely vessel. The 2025 Volkswagen Golf GT, I as well as a host of other updated ID electric models. We'd show you the updated GT I uncovered, but it seems VW isn't ready to show us the complete hot hatchback design just yet, but it hasn't changed much. A skin tight wrap, even one as visually stimulating as you see here, isn't enough to completely obscure the revisions headed to the 2025 Golf GTI skin. Plus Volkswagen is showing us the cabin and its updated tech that includes, yes, an integrated chacked assistant. The GT, I ain't done yet. Volkswagen's iconic hot hatchback is facing a brave new future as an eventual EV and this coming year loses its manual transmission option. While that might have led you to believe the GTI is on thin ice, remember that it's based on the Golf hatchback which isn't sold here anymore, but remains a popular option overseas. So it isn't entirely surprising that, a few years after the McVI Golf's GT, I variant appeared. VW would give it a light mid-cycle refresh, based on the photos VW released of the new GTI, which is debuting in covered up form at the 2024 CES. In Las Vegas, external changes will be subtle there are new barb-like body color flourishes around the lower air intakes. The grille appears slightly different, and the taillight internals are rearranged into scorer shapes. There also is a light-up front VW badge. Deeper changes hit the interior, with last year's more streamlined central touchscreen, which came integrated into the general shape of the surrounding dashboard, replaced by a new tablet-like attachment standing proud of the dash. Volkswagen has mercifully binned the current GT eyes touch-sensitive steering wheel controls, which were irritatingly easy to accidentally activate when driving the car hard, the way a hot hatch should be. Physical buttons now litter the wheel, which should eliminate unintentional heated steering wheel activations mid-corner. The volume and temperature controls remain slider-type, touch-sensitive jobs that live under the main touchscreen but there is more of a ledge below them for users to rest their hands on while finger sliding. That touchscreen gets chatty. Of course, the chatch built into VW's newest infotainment system, which also is headed for the Taiwan SUV, and those aforementioned ID electric models, including the ID4 and ID7, we get or soon will get here, is the headliner. Users can query the software via Serence Chat Pro voice integration, and it works much like Google built in in other cars, able to control not only impromptu question and answer sessions, but also ingest and digest navigation requests, changes to the climate control settings, and audio functions. Activation is as easy as saying hello IDA or pressing a steering wheel button. In a clear nod to privacy and sourcing concerns swirling around artificial intelligence bots, like Chatched, Volkswagen is adamant that ChatchPay does not gain any access to vehicle data. Questions and answers are deleted immediately to ensure the highest possible level of data protection. Provided the results of this are similar to Google built-in, a functionality we've enjoyed in the Hondas, Chevrolets, GMix, and more that we've tested with that feature. This kind of voice activated, do it all on board assistant sounds great. So, when will we see that new GTI? It isn't presently clear when to expect the new Golf GTI to be fully unveiled and when it will subsequently go on sale. No details were offered about the 2025 GTI's powertrain, suspension, or other particulars, though, again, we know it won't have the option for a stick shift transmission. Stay tuned for more, likely by the end of this year. That's all for today. See you in the next video. 
Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.